Grain beetles are destructive insects that infest and feed off of stored food products. The larvae will devour food and leave behind casings and droppings as the adults continue to feed and lay eggs directly onto new food sources. They can cause up to hundreds of dollars in damage, so in this video, we'll show you how to spot grain beetles, look for their activity, treat them, and prevent future infestations from breaking out again. If you'd like to shop the products in this video and learn even more about grain beetle control, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the links in the description below. Most grain beetles average around 2 to 3 millimeters in length. They're typically reddish brown in color or sometimes even black. Grain beetles come in a variety of species and they'll infest pretty much the same stored food products. One of the most common species is the sawtooth grain beetle. This beetle gets its name from the teeth-like growths on its thorax. Similar to the sawtooth grain beetle is the merchant grain beetle. Other species include the lesser grain borer, the rusty grain beetle, and the foreign grain beetle. Examine all food products for any adult beetles, including pet food. Untrained eyes can falsely identify larvae and pupa as other pests, so it's best to look for adults. As you shift items around, check along the edges of your shelves. Grain beetles are smaller than most grain products, but their dark color makes them stand out against lighter foods and white-painted pantry shelves. Before starting treatment, you need to clear out your pantry. Start by throwing out all packaged food. That sounds excessive, but if you've found at least one adult beetle, odds are there were other beetles infesting packages when you weren't looking for them before. If your shelves are adjustable, use a toothpick to clear out the peg holes. Those are known to hide eggs and pests. Next, take a vacuum and clean the shelves once everything has been removed. Once you've done that, clean the surfaces with mild soap and water. Before applying any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, especially before handling any chemicals. And remember, do not allow people or pets near your treatment sites until all chemicals have dried. Start your treatment with Pyrid. Pyrid is an insecticide aerosol that delivers a quick knockdown, and it's labeled for a wide variety of flying and crawling pests. Use this as a crack and crevice treatment to kill any bugs or eggs that are hiding or have fallen in hard-to-see spots. Using Pyrid is easy. Just remove the white applicator, attach the provided red applicator, and make sure the straw is firmly affixed in the spout. Shake the can and spray along the lengths of any cracks and crevices. Next, apply Novicide. Novicide is another insecticide aerosol, but this one contains an insect growth regulator, or IGR. This will disrupt the beetle's life cycle and prevent eggs, larvae, and pupa from developing into adults. Novicide has a long-lasting residual and will work for up to seven months. Apply Novicide as a spot treatment along the edges of your shelves. Just shake the can, hold it upside down, and spray one to two inches of product every couple of inches. Finally, round out your treatment with some glue traps. We recommend Allure traps if you have flying pests like merchant or foreign grain beetles, or you can use Catchmaster 72 MB glue boards for non-flying pests like the sawtooth grain beetle. Setting up each trap is simple. For the Allure trap, start by grasping both the top and bottom tabs and pull the trap open. Then, fold along the perforated lines on the bottom of the trap inward, creating a housing. Hang the trap in your pantry where it won't be disturbed, but still close to the infestation site. When using the Catchmaster glue board, simply peel off the glue's protective seal and fold the board into a box. Place this trap against the wall with the entryways exposed. These glue trap placements will ensure you catch any straggling beetles traveling among the shelves. You can start prevention by limiting the amount of food you store. Start by purchasing only one or two weeks worth of food at a time. Don't overstock your pantry shelves because the longer something sits there, the more likely a potential infestation could break out. Store food in plastic containers. The airtight seals on plastic food containers ensure that bugs won't crawl inside. If an infestation does occur in the future, sealed containers allow you to isolate a future breakout. Finally, continue to use glue traps to monitor for any pantry pest activity that could flare up. Grain beetles are destructive pantry pests that cost us hundreds in food damage, but you can control them yourself with these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn. We guarantee these products will help you get control of your grain beetle problem, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.